All right, today I thought I'd go through a ComC mail day. I got some cards that I bought on ComC and had them shipped home, and they finally arrived, so I thought I'd go through them so you guys could see what I get. I already took the liberty of taking them out of the packaging because it's not like it's a surprise box. I knew exactly what I was getting. Um, but I thought you guys might like to see them all, so we thought we would go through them and see what they are. we will start with the package here. Decided to do some different things with this shipment. Um, decided not too long ago that I should have some more key cards and maybe some key rookie cards and realized I didn't have a, a rookie card of one of the greatest Celtics of all time, even though he's not a Celtic in the picture. Uh, I thought it was time to pick up a, a Robert Parrish rookie, so I, I grabbed this one. As you know, I'm trying to work on the Tristan Cass's 2023 Topps Rookie Card Rainbow, which gives as many variations of this card as I can. It's hard to see, but this is the 582 Montgomery version. Uh, so that's a different version of that card I felt like I should pick up. Decided I should grab a rookie card of this you know, top Patriot rookie. So I got the autograph version of the Donner's Christian Gonzalez. Uh, I thought that was fun, a way to branch out in some different different sport. And you may have heard me mention that I'm working on sort of a GOAT rookie card collection, maybe the greatest of all time in each of the different sports and finding their rookie cards. Uh, so this is Miss, Misty May Trainer, who's one of the, the greatest beach volleyball players ever. Uh, it's hard to find rookie cards for players like this in different sports, so sometimes you have to resort to a sports literature for kids, which I hate doing because... Their cards are so flimsy and you know, they're perforated, so I don't really like them very much. So I only do that if I have to. Um, sometimes your best option is something like this, the Allen & Ginter, where they just show up periodically. So I was able to, to grab this card and add to my collection that way. I think I've mentioned in the past that um, before last season, I thought it would be a good idea to stock up on Mac Jones rookie cards to try to take advantage of the low prices before the season and hope that he would have a great year and all those prices would really rise and I'd be left with a bunch of cards that I was really excited to have. As you may have noticed, that did not happen. So I decided it was time to just send this one home for me. I'll just keep it in the collection. Another one of those Tristan Cassis rookie cards. Uh, this one looks like it's a, I don't know, a purple logo fractor numbered to 250. Luckily, ComC puts these things in the back, so let's see what it says. Yes, Topps Chrome Logo Fractor Edition Base Purple Refractor. 137 out of 250. So there you go. That's another Cassis. Casas. Gotta learn to pronounce his name correctly. All right, the another one, Tristan Casas, uh, the metallic version of the Tops Holiday. Uh, so add that one to the group. Followed by another Casas. We got the Japanese, or the, I guess it's just the Japan version of the 2023 base set. So that's a fun variation. Oops, let's just start standing these up over here. All right. Like before, we go in with another goat, Michael Phelps, greatest swimmer of all time. Um, again, had to go with the Allen and Ginter card, even though I don't like having that many. So I don't know, that's a couple Allen and Ginters. It kind of blahs it up. But the best way to get a what I think is the best rookie card of Michael Phelps. And we got a card I just picked up because I thought it would be a good idea to have a decent rookie card of Brian Bayo. Um, this one's got a you know, Jersey in it, so that's a nice little Allen and Ginter rookie of his, so that's fun to have. And then I just realized this card existed not too long ago. It's a stadium club pick card of David Ortiz depicting his speech after the marathon bombing. Uh, I was actually at this game, so to have a card that actually shows that picture is kind of a nice thing to add to my collection. I was glad it existed. I'd been kind of searching for the uh, Tops SP version of the card that shows that picture, but those are, prices are so crazy that it was nice to be able to, to find this alternative. Now the Casas, we got a wearing my Santa hat this time, so that's the fun SP variation of the Top Holiday rookie card, so we add that to that. One more, we got a pink card, we got a numbered out of 399, some sort of chrome refractor there. Uh, so what I call it magenta refractor. So there we go. Add that to the pile, and then added the red version of that David Ortiz card just because I decided I should have both versions after not having one for so long. So there we go. And there's a couple of graded cards that got added to the mix. Um, let's see, we'll put those off. I start off another one for the the goat collection. Um, I do have a Tiger Woods 
rookie card, but I figured, you know, in case of tie, that Jack Nicholas would be too bad. Uh, it's pretty off-center, which is why I probably got that X-Men 6, but for my purposes, I don't really care that much about condition of these cards. It's just nice to have them and be able to look at them and display them. And this is a card I actually bought myself on ComC and then had graded through ComC, and it came back with the coveted Gem Mint 10, so that was exciting. Uh, so we able to add the Gem Mint Jason Tatum to my collection. Tried the same thing this time with the rookie Panini Donner's Rookie Kings version. Um, this one time came back as a 9, so not quite as good as the, the 10 before, but another card I bought on ComC and had graded through ComC, so I didn't even see it before it was graded. And the last one is a similar one. I bought this one on ComC and had it graded through ComC. And again, this time it came back as a X-Men 6. So that was pretty disappointing to, to have a card because, again, I never saw it. Um, but they were able to just take it and grade it and send it off. Um, and it came back a 6, which was really disappointing. But I guess that's how it works sometimes. So there we go. Plenty of additions to the Costas collection. A few of the GOAT rookie cards. And all in all, a pretty good shipment. Hope you enjoyed that. Like and subscribe if you want to see more things like this. And until next time, I'd rather be in Section 36.